security situation in Israel, especially in Judea, Samaria, is such that uh, many citizens and soldiers find themselves in a position where they are forced to defend themselves, including uh, opening fire with uh, legal arms that they uh, possess. And unfortunately, because of uh, uh, pressure from uh, anti-Israeli organizations, the situation is reversed. And too often, uh, these innocent citizens or soldiers uh, are arrested and face trial. Therefore, it's very important that uh, they get immediate uh, legal representation so that they know how to respond. It's obviously also very important that they know that there are people who stand behind them and that they're not left to fend for themselves. Harris Checkpoint. A suspected suicide bomber refuses to lift his shirt for inspection. Kfir Ochayun, the shift commander, forces him to submit to inspection at gunpoint. An observer from one of the international organizations notices and lodges a protest with Kfir's commanders. These in turn register an official reprimand regarding Kfir's conduct and threaten to open an investigation against him. In conversation with his father, Kfir mentions that he is afraid of the legal complications. Two days later, in the same place, soldiers hesitated to impose a search on the suspected suicide bomber with tragic results. The terrorist blew himself up near the soldiers and Kfir Ochayun died on the spot. We try to support each other, but this is bigger than us. I have one regret, that I didn't know then about Honeno. Because I am positive that the incident two days previously had a very profound effect on Kfir. He lost self-confidence, no doubt about it, as did the other soldiers with him. Irit Albert is at home with her son in Yitzhar. She perceives an Arab coming up from the nearby valley and circling their home. She calls her husband, the civilian security officer, on behalf of the IDF. I got to this point, I see the terrorist attempt entry to the house. In this situation, the most normal react that we expect is to shoot in order to protect his family life and his own life. I shot once at his feet and went in pursuit. He continues to run and I proceed with routine arrest procedure. Even though he acted correctly and the army justified his action, he's still under investigation by the police. Tulkarim area. An Arab car runs a police barrier and speeds away. Sergeant Ophir Avraham, on the command of his superior officer, sets out to arrest the suspect. After a lengthy chase, he shoots and injures him. The suspect, a fugitive prisoner, dies en route to the hospital. Now, eight years later, a father of two and employed by the Mikorot Water Company, through pressure from anti-Israel organizations, Ophir is facing charges for manslaughter. I would advise soldiers to be very cautious and not to shoot, to not fulfill their role, and to be prepared with two good lawyers. A soldier who completes his service without any complications is simply lucky. I served in Hebron twice, and during both stints I was brought to trial. Once because I chased a young boy who was throwing stones at former President Herzog of blessed memory. The second time, as brigade commander, I was tried because I gave chase by helicopter after a terrorist throwing Molotov cocktails. The risk of a soldier or officer getting into trouble increases in proportion to his commitment to fulfilling his role. Nowhere in the entire world is there an army as ethical as ours. Nowhere in the world are there soldiers as ethical as ours. Sometimes they find themselves in very complicated circumstances and then they need to stand trial. They need help and encouragement. Turn to Choneinu and the Almighty will show you grace and bless you with assistance from heaven and earth. Of the thousands of cases referred to us, these are regular people, soldiers and civilians who live and work normally until one day 
They happen into a crisis that turns them into a population segment of the neediest in Israel today. To continue our work, we need your support. It is a great mitzvah to assist and support Khanena. It is also a great mitzvah to donate even from Maaser Tzedakah money. There is no charity greater than this. There is no cry that pierces the heavens like the cry of the prisoner. Help us to help them to stay alive and to remain free.